The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, this is Paul Leasley, Channel Manager for uh, Soft Solutions Central and uh, Southern Territories. Have with me today Carl Thompson, uh, Senior SE from StorageCraft, and uh, Matt Carey, our uh, Senior Technical Lead for StorageCraft uh, Soft Solutions. So. Um, the subject of today is really just to give you an overview of the uh, StorageCraft MSP, um, how to activate uh, keys and how to provision up uh, cloud services. So, before, um, can we go to the agenda, please, Carl? Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong screen, guys. Sorry, here we go. Um, so, yeah, the um, we'll also uh, have a closer look at the, just what is the MSP program, the benefits of it, and then uh, Carl will give you a demo through um, the Pilot Partner Portal. So, next slide, Carl. So, uh, what is MSP? It's uh, an administer in, in StorageCraft terms, it's an administration portal. Uh, that's allowing you to control your licensing and uh, access to uh, the cloud-related services. It gives you the ability to act, uh, dynamically activate and de deactivate serial numbers. So there's no need to be waiting around for purchase orders to be processed, um, to uh, have to commit to a 12-month period on a, on a machine. You can bring a machine on uh, run it for a period of time and then uh, take it offline again by deactivating that uh, serial number. Uh, you only get charged for um, those keys that are active for 14 days or more in a uh, in any given calendar month. It also provides a monthly billing cycle. So this understand allows you to um, understand uh, that MSP business is about that need to have be dynamic in your use of the product and therefore the billing is reflecting that. So you'll be um, only charged on a monthly basis for what you've month, used in that month. It provides you as the MSP partner a low cost of ownership. You're not asked to sign up for any uh, committed uh, number of licenses. Uh, for any extended period of time, so forth, you just pay as you go. So it's a very much recognises the uh, way in which you do business. Uh, it uh, also provides a multi-tenanted uh, cloud solutions uh, for uh, the cloud services. DR is the service that relates to your shadow protect backups being taken up into the StorageCraft cloud service. It also uh, provides access to the file backup and recovery service, which is providing uh, straight file level uh, backups and recovery out of the cloud with intelligence on what is being backed up. And of course, then there's a the cloud backup for Office 365 service, uh, which allows the uh, your customers Office 365 um, instances to be backed up into StorageCraft's cloud backup or uh, if you have your own Azure uh, storage you can opt to have it backed up into there. So what is it what is what it's not? It's not just a cheap way to buy licenses. The MSP is about you as a partner being the licensee and using those licenses to deliver a, a service to your customers. So it's not intended to just cut down on the, um, the cost factor to pass on license to customers. Uh, you, you need to be wrapping services around that. It's also not a multi-tenant installation and deployment service that is provided via the, uh, the shadow control uh, management console that Carl will talk to you about shortly. Uh, 
<clears throat> Next slide, please, Carl. Okay. So how do you benefit? Okay. So for the business owner, um, it's keeping your um, bank manager happy with annuity re revenue. So the valuation of a business that has annuity revenue is significantly higher than a business that just relies on product sales um, and um, plumbing materials uh, billing. As a salesperson, um, we're removing that need for you to monitor and manage your uh, license renewals. They can be painful at the best of times. Uh, with this, it is just a recurring, um, ongoing license until you turn it off, and the console is going to monitor all of that, so you don't have to keep separate track of it. <clears throat> Tiered discounts for volume is provided. So, um, as I said earlier on, Storagecraft recognise you, the MSP partner, as the licensee. Therefore, all volume uh, purchasing attributes to you across your whole customer base. And so, the more you, you put on to the um, Storagecraft licensing, the better your buy price becomes. And uh, finally, uh, you get to start to incorporate additional services around that. As I was saying, as a managed service provider, it is uh, important that you see this truly as a um, component of the managed service you provide your customer. It is just one of the uh, components of the um, total service you would be offering your customer. Next slide, Carl. Okay, so uh, at this point in time, I'll pass over to uh, Carl Thompson to take you through that demo, that dash dashboard and the demo. Thank you, Carl. Cool, thanks, Paul. Um, that was a really good sort of overview. Um, from, from my perspective, I think some of the key things are, is, is this is a monthly rental. You're renting the licenses from us. Um, there's no commitment, so you can, you know, onboard a customer with a, a Shadow Protect key um, or a cloud product. Um, and then next month you could drop them off if, if you decide that it's not right or that they don't want it anymore or perhaps you know they've moved on to another IT provider. So there's no commitment, uh, there's no upfront investment. So uh, particularly around a lot of our cloud stuff, Storagecraft has invested you know significant money in data center facilities, uh, maintaining you know five nines of uptime. So a big part of that is. You know, for resellers that want to offer DR as a service, um, they can leverage um, storage craft investment and just monthly rent, um, you know, those services, which is really cool. Um, Paul covered off the TED licensing model for the keys. That also uh, applies for our cloud backup as well. So the more uh, Office 365 seats you provision as a global pool across all of your customers, you'll get price breaks. So that's really cool. Uh, and Soft Solutions have um, our New Zealand dollar pricing calculator where you can punch in, you know, number of keys or whichever in it. It's a really easy way to see what that would cost. Um, and one of the things Paul talked about is adding in, in fact, is on this last slide here, um, start to incorporate additional services. And I think that's, that's where our partners have the biggest success, is they're not just charging the customer a month, a small month, fee for each of their license keys. They're bundling in a monitoring, a management, they might even uh, have additional antivirus rental licensing in there, um, you know, and in cloud products, you know, DR as a service incorporates, you know, the monitoring capabilities, the managing of that process. You're, you're adding value into a whole bundle and you're not getting in a price or with someone else on just a transacting a license fee. And I think that's the big thing of the difference with the MSP model is the monthly rental is designed to be bundled in with your additional value add features. Um, cool, so let's just jump into the dashboard. I find this is the easiest way to kind of show people what it looks like. So basically partners.storagecraft.com. Now the best way if you're not already signed up to our MSP program is actually to go through Soft Solutions. Uh, and get them to send you the sign up link because not it's not just the partner portal we're interested in today, it's more specifically focused on the MSP. So if you sign up directly on the partners.storagecraft.com, you wouldn't see this MSP option. Again, that needs to be registered through your distributor. So what we have in here, um, firstly, is an overview. This gives us a graphical view on activations, active licenses, it shows off 
affects all our billing straight in here. So very easy to see what's going on. Uh, and then the key management. So this has been available um, for a long time. We've got a lot of uh, partners successful transacting uh, Shadow Protect keys. And basically how we provision this is you create your own accounts or sites. And this is your representation of which customers you've assigned them to. That just simply helps you for billing. You, of course, could just add all of your keys into one default account. It makes no difference for StorageCraft. StorageCraft doesn't know who the end users are. Um, but from your billing perspective, it's quite nice to you know, create an account so you know that um, Paul's tire shop. You know, we know that the keys that I sign in here, when when I need to do my monthly billing, how how that lines up. Um, we can also leverage PSA connectors. So we've got connectors uh, into ConnectWise and Autotask uh, for the automated billing process to pull those uh, activations across, which can be quite easy. Um, but basically, once you add an account or a site, you can then just go in and add keys. So for example, I've got Shadow Protect 5 or Shadow Protect SPX keys. Now, the key thing here to understand with Shadow Protect 5, our, our sort of legacy Shadow Protect version, there is a different installer for the MSP to work, okay? So you need to make sure if you still like using Shadow Protect 5, that you use the, um, it's on one of these uh, drop down here, the download installers, and you make sure you download the Shadow Protect 5 installer from the MSP portal, and uh, that has, a special activation method where it checks into our portal every 30 days. If it fails to check in, it will keep trying, but if it hasn't been able to check in for 30 days, it will automatically deactivate that license. So it's kind of cool, you know, if a machine, uh, you, you throw it away and you forget to deactivate it, it'll eventually drop off the portal and we won't keep charging you. So that's that how it's designed, um, but of course you can come into the portal and deactivate right away as well. Um, now with um, SPX, there is no um, there is no separate download. It's the same software that you'd use for your perpetual download or your MSP. So we've made it a bit simpler with the newer version of Shadow Protect. The other thing you'll notice is I simply type in how many keys I want. For example, I want 10 keys. I can assign it to an account or a site. Um, and the, the key thing to note is that you do not need to specify if it's a physical, virtual, Windows, um, you know, desktop server or SPS server. What happens is we add the keys, uh, and what you'll see here, like Paul mentioned, you don't have to wait for a PO. I don't need to um, worry that I'm going to be charged. Basically provisioned, and there's no extra cost associated with that. So the keys get provisioned. Uh, in the portal, you get instant visibility of those keys. Once you go and use the key, um, let me just go and find an example here. Um, I'll go to Carl. Once you activate the key, it checks into the storage craft portal, tells us whether it's a desktop or, or physical or server, et cetera. Um, what are we looking for here? It's got a bunch of different keys in here. So basically, these keys, um, you get the status, we get, you know, list of what the keys are that we requested. If you've requested a whole lot of keys and you haven't activated and there's no cost associated with them, um, you can come in here and deactivate the keys um, straight from our portal, uh, et cetera, as well. So that's how all the billing's done. Um, you can expand them out. It tells you when it was activated, what the product was that's checked in. Um, you can't use the key again. So if you've activated a computer, if you restore the computer from physical to virtual, you can't, that key won't work. So what you do is you just simply request a new key and we stop billing for the other one. So the keys will always stay here, but you can't, you don't reuse them. Uh, now in terms of other keys, um, there's obviously a separate key for SPX for Linux. Uh, with Image Manager, uh, the only key available here now is ShadowStream. So if you're not using ShadowStream, which is becoming less and less common, you don't need to activate Image Manager at all. Image Manager can just go unlicensed to perform all of its processing um, and, and you know the FTP and storage craft card replication are all included. Uh, and then the final license is Granular Recovery for Exchange. Now this one is different, and this, is, this goes against the norm of our MSP, a Granular Recovery for exchange key is committed for 12 billing cycles. Okay, that's the one difference with the GRE key. 
Um, and it's because it's a very low value. So we actually offer this, I think it's around the $12 mark, I believe. Um, so it's very low for an unlimited GRE license. Because of that, um, that low cost, uh, it is a 12 month commitment. But even if you look at the cost of that $12, uh, whichever it is, over 12 months, it's still a very affordable price point. Um, you know, even if it's just for a one-off compared to, you know, the other op the perpetual options we have. So that's um, a basic overview of the keys. As you can see, you've got access to do this at any time of the day, instantly provision keys, activate, deactivate, um, and that kind of thing. So yeah, the, the NSP portal, um, very easy to use. One of the options in here, as I touched on, was the PSA integration. This gives you visibility on, uh, oh, sorry, connectors into ConnectWise Autotask. Um, and you, you know, you've got uh, other information that's available from the menu. Um, we've got a full reporting section, so this can help you with the activation reports of keys, you know, in terms of on charging to your customers. And then as Paul touched on, we've got a couple of other services available in our um, MSP program. So one of them is cloud services. This is our disaster recovery as a service. We actually have a separate webinar scheduled for this. So take a look at the different webinars that we're doing with Soft Solutions, and one of them is going to specifically focus on cloud services. But this gives you the ability to instantly create a customer account in our cloud and instantly start up or replicating a copy of their backups with Image Manager into the Storage Craft Cloud. And you can instantly come in here, select a customer. We have a full networking backend so that we can set them up with a subnet and IP addressing and port forwarding and VPNs that's all available uh, in the cloud. Um, and as well as the ability to come in and instantly virtualize the server. So for DR, we can instantly virtualize, provide the customer access, and then revert them back on site. So it's an end-to-end -end, uh, disaster recovery as a service. There's no cost to then revert back on-prem. But, you know, the, the most common one we're selling is uh, our MSP bundle. So that includes a Shadow Protect license and up to one terabyte server in our cloud premium. That includes... Um, that includes, uh, sorry, losing track. That includes the last three days of retention and at no cost you can virtualize in our cloud with all the CPU and memory that you require. So MSP bundle, uh, it's just over $71 a month. Your buy price includes, you know, the on-prem shadow protect backup and disaster recovery as well as a copy in the storage craft cloud. You can sell that, you know, you'll add on your monitoring, you're, you know, leveraging our shadow control or your RMM tool. You can monitor the customer's backups, their replication, and then our cloud piece. So it's giving us a full solution that, you know, you might sell that for $150, $180 a month. It's a full DR as a service, and you're adding that value, the management, the monitoring, et cetera. You're not just reselling a product. So that's cloud services. Again, there is another webinar that's going to cover that off some more. Uh, cloud backup. So this is our backup, cloud to cloud backup for Office 365. Uh, this will back up three times a day, so every eight hours. It includes mail, contacts, calendar, OneDrive, and SharePoint. Um, there's a, you know, it's, it's charged per user. It will back up all of their data. Um, and again, it's, it's very easy to use. We have a webinar dedicated to Cloud Backup for Office 365, so I won't go into too much of this today. But very similar, you add in your accounts, you come in, provision the customer's Office 365, um, account and then and select you know the services that you want to back up calendar contact mail under a SharePoint. So very easy. It's multi-tenancy, so the end user can log in. They can perform their own searches across the whole tenancy very quickly. Quickly view, restore an email or, or an entire folder, etc. So very very easy, a fantastic solution. A lot of our successful partners in New Zealand will not sell Office 365 without a backup solution in place. You know, it's, you know, just because we're in the cloud, there's high availability, there's geographical redundancy, but we need to have backup. We need to know that if someone deletes something or, you know, a file gets corrupt or ransomware or malicious activity removes some stuff or deletes an account, that we can get that back. So this is a very relevant solution in the market today. And then the final one uh, that Paul mentioned was file backup and recovery. So this at the moment is actually not part of our single sign-on, so you do have to, unfortunately, you have to log on again, and we're working hard to um, make this a little bit more seamless. But basically, file backup and recovery is a replacement for Shadow Protect 
for mobile or remote workers. So where you've got laptops that are out in the field, they're not always in the office where the image manager or the NAS storage or the backup location is. So this allows us just to back up critical types of files directly to the storage craft cloud. We don't need to worry um, about having local storage uh, it backs up, you know, documents, it's all policy driven, so it's very scalable uh, with a lightweight agent that will just back up directly to the cloud. And it's just backing up the block-based changes to those files, so it doesn't have to back up the whole file every time. Um, so this is a fantastic solution um, that gives you a bit more of a capability than, you know, I guess compared to something like Dropbox or Google Drive. This is dedicated for backup. It's scanning the whole computer and leveraging its analytics capabilities of analyzing that and just, it's telling you, hey, look, you haven't included these types of files in your policy, but they're changing all the time. You might want to consider including them. You can have it monitor particular files, you know, maybe an NYOB database file or something. You say, look, that file doesn't change within seven days. I'm suspecting something's wrong. Send me an alert and we'll investigate perhaps what's happened. So this is a really powerful tool. Again, it backs up directly to the cloud. Now with these three cloud products, um, they are operated out of our data center based in Sydney. It's a tier three data center. Obviously, in some scenarios, it could be a sovereignty issue in New Zealand. So we're, um, you know, we're sending that data out of New Zealand uh, into Australia. Uh, but yeah, certainly it doesn't go off to the United States. Um, it, it's within Australia. Um, it's, it's leveraging a, a tier three data center with a, you know, five, 99.999% uptime. So, there's a big investment there, um, you know, where you've already got Office 365, um, it's cloud to cloud, so you don't need to worry about, you know, bandwidth on site and provisioning extra storage, um, and, but it's a very easy to consume service. So yeah, for sure, there's going to be some scenarios where, you know, sovereignty is an issue, um, but I think uh, from my experience, you know, SoftSol has done a very good job um, in the market with, it, with our cloud solutions, and, and for the most part, um, it's, it's not, um, appearing to be too much of a roadblock, which is fantastic. So that's a quick run through of the portal. Um, Paul, is there anything else you think I've covered off quickly or that I should um, talk about some more? I mean, we are doing separate webinars on each of these cloud products later, um, but in terms of the key management and, and the basic um, navigation of the portal, I think that's pretty straightforward to you, Paul. Yeah, I think so, uh, Carl. Um... It, it seems to have covered everything fairly well, and I know that cool. there's um, lots of good documentation available to um, support uh, users online anyway as well. Yeah, and, I, and obviously myself and my colleague Andrea is our business development manager in New Zealand, as well as yourself, Paul, and DJ, and Matt, and the whole SoftSol team. Everyone's available to help or talk you through um, you know, how things work or what you need to do or help with the billing. So, um, yeah, I guess, Paul, do you want to maybe just elaborate on, on how the billing um, comes through at the end of the month? Yeah, certainly, uh, Carl, thanks for that. So, uh, just uh, on that, um, we receive um, a report from StorageCraft uh, at the end of the month. Um, so, it's early in the new month before we get to process it. We take that data and um, massage it into a report that um, uh, is easy to read and identifies uh, the the different um, services and products you've supplied to each of your customers, and then we also uh, we send that report through ahead of time for you to verify and then uh, we send our uh, invoice to you that is a um, rolled up uh, total of everything that is um, provided there. Uh, so um, you should be able to fairly readily um, see what you've been charged against which customers and then reconcile um, your charges uh, quite easily from that. <coughs> Um, so, how to get started? Um, simply, if you're not already an MSP partner uh, with us, please uh, email myself um, or uh, my colleague um, DJ at um, SoftSol, or just use the sourcecraft at softsol.co.nz, um, which will get to um, uh, all of us. 
that are involved with the storage craft brand. Um, what I need to know from you is just what email address you would like associated with your uh, storage craft MSP account, and uh, we will um, send a uh, link to you to um, get started with the storage craft MSP. There's terms and conditions to accept there. If you want to have a look at those ahead of time, just let me know and I'll um, send those through by email. But uh, pretty innocuous, there's no gotchas there, um, no simple process, and um, up and going and, and uh, nice and easy. So, um, is there any oh, okay. Yeah, thanks, Paul. So um, obviously everyone's muted because of the webinar, but if anyone's got any questions, um, we've, we've got a few minutes. Um, if you'd like to type them into the um, questions, and we can just review that. And you know, I'm happy to jump back in the portal and show anything, or, or Paul can explain anything further. Um, but yeah, otherwise, just you know, sing out to us. We're here to help, and um, anything we can do to explain things further or help you on on that MSP journey, um, that's what we're all here for. Just having a look now, I don't think there's any questions that have come through. Um, we'll, we'll give it another minute or two, but thank you everyone for coming. Um, thanks Soft Solutions for helping organize the webinar today. Um, we will be sending out a, a recording, a copy of this. It'll also go up on the Storage Craft and Soft Solutions um, blog, sort of vlog areas as well. Okay, someone's just asked, um, what is the size of the storage? So um, obviously the MSP portal, there's, there's many different components there. Um, in terms of the cloud services disaster recovery as a service, that MSP bundle I did touch on, the $71.69 I think, that includes the Shadow Protect key and a copy of the machine in the storage craft card. That includes up to one terabyte of storage per machine. Uh, with the cloud, the DR, uh, it's not a pooled storage, it's up to one terabyte per machine at that price point. It's based on the original raw storage consumption of the machine itself. So not don't look at the size of the shadow images. Um, we're converting that into a machine in the cloud. Uh, and that price point, as I mentioned, is uh, retention tier one that holds just the last three days. I think it jumps up to about $79 your buy price around that mark uh, for retention tier two, which actually holds five days and two weeks. So I think there's a bit more of a trend as people going towards retention tier two now, um, but then we have a retention tier three, which includes a couple of months, and then a flexible option that you can actually define how, what retention you want in our cloud, uh, and, and leveraging the pricing calculator, um, you can see what that might cost. So again, these are buy, your buy prices. If you're already using the MSP program, um, transacting Shadow Protect keys, it's you know very, uh, easy step to add on the cloud components, and obviously that falls within the bundle of pricing. So yeah, reach out um, to Soft Solutions, they can explain that bundle in more detail. Um, the other um, ones that we've talked about in the storage craft uh, services is file backup and recovery. Um, the desktop, I think your buy price is around $8 roughly per month. That includes 100 gigabytes of poolable storage. Uh, server license, I think is about $25. That includes 250 gigabytes poolable. So that's very generous, uh, you know, easy option for file level backups. And then for cloud backup for Office 365, that's unlimited storage. So it's licensed per user per month, per active user. Um, and it's unlimited storage, we're actually leveraging S3, Amazon S3 storage. Um, alternatively, we can license it at a more discounted rate where it will go to your own or your customer's own Azure storage. And, and then obviously that's not our, our, our hard cost on storage, so we can offer that at a discounted rate. So that uh, that's all provided uh, Cloud Backup for Office 365 as unlimited storage, unlimited retention. So those. Uh, three times a day, eight hourly backups are kept forever, which is, you know, really cool. All right, well, that's the, the last one that's come through. So um, we'll, we'll call it a day. Uh, thanks again, Paul um, and Matt at Soft Solutions team. Um, and again, we will be sending out a copy of the recording for this. And thanks to you, Carl, and thanks to everyone for attending. Cool, thanks, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.